The next video is the next instalment for our Don Bradman. We're up to Thursday 19th of January. I have finally met Don Bradman. I remember the moment as long as I live. My legs felt like jelly. I was surprised at how small he is. Almost as small as mum, who is only 5 foot 7. But he has broad shoulders and is tan from spending a lot of time in the sun. I felt a surge of pride when he addressed us and said how pleased he was to meet such a fine bunch of up-and-coming young cricketers. All eyes were fixed on him as he talked about growing up in Barrel and about how important it was to always play the game in the right spirit and how he felt when he broke the World Test batting record in England in 1930. I felt great elation at having achieved something for the team, for my country and for myself. He said playing for Australia was a great honour. The day I was first selected was the proudest moment of my life. Just as Mr Kipax predicted, he said good footwork, concentration and watching the ball right onto the bat were the key to good batting. We then stood in a long line so he could meet us individually. When it came to my turn, I looked him straight in the eye just as Dad had told me to do. He has a strong handshake, blue eyes and smiles a lot, just like Dad. He asked me what school I went to. When I explained about Dad, Stockton and Crown Street Primary School, he said, Ah, Victor Trump is old school. He only stayed about an hour, but he said he'll be back tomorrow. The air filled with excited chatter the moment he left. We started telling each other what the Don had said to us and what each of us thought of him. I couldn't stop talking about him when I got home either. At one stage, Grandma told me not to talk so fast because I was babbling. Mum wasn't too pleased when she found out I hadn't washed my right hand and I was going around telling everyone that they could shake the hand that shook the hand of Don Bradman. She insisted I wash it before tea. And that ends that instalment for our, our Don Bradman.